Okay, we have two more problems that we'll do that relate to derivatives of inverse tangent. Okay, so for this one, we have to do a product rule because there's two things, different things multiplied together. In this one, we have to remember our rule for derivative of natural logs, which is u primed over u that we talked about in a previous section. So let's do this one for the first part. Got to use product rule. We have the first thing and then times the derivative of the second. The derivative of the second, we're going to use u primed over 1 plus u squared. Okay, so the, the u is 2x. So on top we have the derivative of the inside, which is 2. On the bottom you have 1 plus u squared. So I have 1 plus 2x, and that's going to be quantity squared. Where did that formula come from? That's the formula for the inverse tangent that we talked about in an earlier video. Plus the second thing, this is the second part of the product rule, the second thing is inverse tangent of 2x times the derivative of the first, which derivative of x is going to be uh, 1. So this whole thing is the derivative of the first term, then we have a minus, and now we want to take the derivative of this part. I have a 1 fourth, and then we're going to use u primed over u. So down here is 1 plus 4x squared. On top is the derivative of the inside part here. Derivative of 1 is 0, 2 comes down, we get 8x on top there. Next line, we're going to do some simplifying. Okay, so y primed is, we have 2x on top, we multiply that, 1 plus 4x squared down below. Square both things on the inside. This one we can't do anything with, we're just going to do inverse tangent of 2x, that's about all we can do on that one. We have a minus, and this one we can do some reducing, we can write that as 2x over 1 plus 4x squared. And what we'll notice about that is this first term and that first term, those are going to cancel which is nice. So those cancel out for us, which means the final answer for part A is going to be inverse tangent of 2x. So for this next problem, part B, we have a natural log out front, which means that if you want to do the entire uh, problem, you have to do the formula for the derivative of natural log of u. The derivative of natural log of u is u primed over u. So in this case, this whole thing on the inside is going to be our u. So when we apply this formula, we're going to put the inverse cotangent on the bottom because that's our u. On top, we have to do the derivative of the inside. Now in order to do a derivative, I'm going to do that off to the side over here because that's going to involve separate formula to do that. I want to take the derivative of this and then whatever I get for that is going to go here on top. When I want to find the derivative of the inverse cotangent, I've got to use the formula that goes with it, which is negative u primed over 1 plus u squared. So let's do that. Um, the u primed is going to be the derivative of this inside part. The 3 is going to come down, multiply by the 2. So I get negative 6x squared. Why is it negative? Because in the formula, it's negative u primed over 1 plus u squared. So that's where the negative comes from. Top part, we did the power rule. On the bottom, I have 1 plus u squared, 2x cubed, and then that's going to be squared. This whole thing is going to go on top over here because this formula here that we're, we're using with ln is u primed over u. This is our u prime. We did it. We're going to put it in here. 6x squared, negative. On the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and square this. You've got to square both things on the inside. 1 plus 4x to the 6 because you're going to multiply the exponents. And then this can be written over 1, and so we have a fraction over a fraction. We can take the top fraction and multiply by the reciprocal of the bottom one. And then when we do that, on the bottom what will happen is you're going to have this part and this part together when you multiply those. It doesn't matter which one you put first. So do 1 plus 4x to the 6, and I'll do inverse cotangent 2x cubed. That whole thing is in the bottom. On the top, we're going to have negative 6x squared uh, from this one here. So again, this is the original fraction. We're multiplying by the reciprocal of that one. This is as far as you can go with your answer.